How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. And as always here at 2A News Now, you get your Second Amendment news straightforward and to the point with no BS added in. I already had recorded a totally different video than this one. And I had to go pick up some medication and then I was going to come back and edit that video and post it. But then I got some information that I thought everybody should know right away. So I'll post that video tomorrow. I posted a video a couple of days ago about that we're a little bit less than six months away from the presidential election and should people stock up on ammo and firearms. And in that video I said don't go out and panic buy, but if you feel that you need something, go ahead and pick it up. Now once again I'm going to say don't go out and panic buy. I'm going to give you this information and you can do with it whatever you want. An ammo shortage and high prices are soon to come. According to the information that I have, there will be a gunpowder shortage of 2024. There's an ingredient in the gunpowder called nicrocellulose, and it's one of the core components of gunpowder. And a lot of importers and manufacturers are saying that there will be a shortage on nicrocellulose, which comes from a cotton plant in China. Some people call nicrocellulose gun cotton because it comes from the cotton plant, and it's highly flammable, and it's made by treating cellulose with a mixture of sulfuric and nitric acid. According to people in the industry, the shortage will be a direct result of China refusing to sell nitrocellulose to Western nations and Europe and only supply the Russians. Right now, prices of ammunition have leveled out. But unfortunately, if this is true, it will disrupt the supply chain dramatically before the election, causing ammo prices to skyrocket. I'm going to post up on the screen so you can follow along with me. A message from Powder Valley, dated 5-9-2024. FYI, we have just received the following message from Vista Outdoors the parent company of Alliant Powders. Due to the worldwide shortage of necrocellulose, the Vista Outdoor Supply Agreement for the sale of Alliant Powder canisters has been suspended for an unknown period. At this time, we have no timeline for the fulfillment and will be canceling outstanding Alliant orders in our system. Representatives will provide updates and coordinate new orders based on availability. We have heard mixed messages from various powder suppliers about availability of necrocellulose and therefore powder over the past several months. This is one manufacturer's analysis of the situation. We are posting this so you can have all the information we have and draw whatever conclusions are right for you. It's been reported that Russia's import has exploded by 70% in 2022. By mid-year 2023, they had reached over 3,000 plus tons. That's almost double from 2021. Defense companies worldwide are having a hard time securing this much needed material due to the shortage, leading to price hikes and production slowdowns. Nitrocellulose faces strict international trade regulations that limits production to only a few countries. In April of this year, members of Congress announced a legislation to push the Biden administration to conduct an inventory of the United States gunpowder supply chain and offer suggestions to make sure enough will be available for the military and U.S. citizens, Republicans in Congress said law-abiding Americans could struggle to get ammunition amid a global shortage of necrocellulose. Very few nations make necrocellulose. The big players in the industry are Thailand, China, and India. The big problem is with both supply and demand. The Russian-Ukraine war has created a huge pit for munitions, and China has tightened up its supply. They say China is reluctant to sell to the U.S. because so much of the supply is being used making munitions that is sent to the Ukraine. Defense industry manufacturers are grabbing up as much of the supply they can that reaches the United States. Even European officials are saying the shortage is affecting rearming Ukraine. According to industry insiders, factories have gunpowder stockpiled, but the shortage is expected to catch up to them. No later than this summer, there's going to be a change in the market and there will be a rise in cost to the manufacturers and an increase in price of ammunition to the consumer. And like I said at the starting of the video, don't go out and panic buy. This is just information that I'm giving you and hopefully you'll pass it on to others. And then you can figure out what you want to do, not purchase any ammunition at all. Maybe you already have a stockpile and you don't need any more. But in my opinion, you can never have enough ammo. But you definitely don't want to get caught with your pants down. I said that in my video a couple of days ago. And in that video I made a couple of days ago, I didn't have any of this information. Like I said, I hope you share this with others so they know what's going on. 
And if you enjoyed this video, and if I gave you some information you didn't know, please take a few seconds of your time to help the channel out and help it to continue to grow by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. I really would appreciate it. And I invite you to come back and watch my next video.